Hello everyone, welcome back. Hello everyone, welcome back to part four of Maneater. And I'm just gonna be honest, I was doing some behind the scenes of running around collecting landmarks and uh uh nutrients caches, completing some targets back in the old uh Fotwick Bayou area. Basically the stuff that I wouldn't be mentioning much and just going on in the background. And I, I forgot that uh, upping your infamy actually adds the next bounty hunter on you. And I'm actually close to level 10, which I think is adult. So I'm going to go ahead and pick it up here as I was planning on after... Well, I was planning on heading to the new area that I discovered last episode. And just kind of poaching that out and seeing if I could tread the fins in the water, so to say. So let's get on with killing the next uh, bounty hunter that's on me. Dude, okay... I was about to say, she really hunted me with a freaking triumph or trumpet. Come on. Give me one of your people. Thank you. It's so funny that all these bounty hunters that came after me all had like assault rifles first and then they started with more guns. Oh, I guess I grabbed the, the lady. Okay. Digs in as the conflict escalates. Oh, I see a busy bride. Yeah, level 10 is adult status. Got him. Well, then again, I did up the infamy, so I guess I did up the damage. So we hear it. Feels so nice, like this random stuff here that was coming out of nowhere and just ruining their day. Alright, well, I shall leave because I want to. Uh, here, you know what? Uh, I, yeah, I can't fast travel there. Ain't. Combat, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take my leave of this. And there's a gator on me now. But I'm just gonna go ahead and head back to the grotto. And get myself an adult ball shark because you know what? I might not initially go for that new area because there's gonna be a lot more stuff in uh, Dead Horse and one of the things in Butwood Bayou that I can actually unlock now that I am supposedly adult level. And you haven't missed much, I haven't gotten any new evolutions. I did upgrade my teeth and sonar so that they're a little bit more gnarly. But it's essentially, nothing crazy has happened, like I said, aside from going about landmarks and uh, discovering some parkour methods like this. If you are in lunge speed, grown bored oh. of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. Oh yeah, but basically if you are looking to go after license plates and collectibles on land, if you lunge out of the water and then jump, you get to do a little double jump. So hopefully that tiny little uh, parkour can help you get some of the collectibles that are higher up on the list. All right, let us see how big we get now. Oh, we a big shark. The shark is now an adult, and she should probably spend less, save more, and start researching indexed mutual funds. <laughs> Relatable. All right, so now our shark is bigger. And we have another organ to unlock, I believe. Oh, we do. Uh, let's see, what does this do? More max health, boat crew knockback resistance. Increases health and resistance to being knocked off a boat. Okay, so basically I can't be shoved off a boat. I can keep nomming on people. And just for the sake of getting it up a little bit and spending some of my blue currency, let me get that up to blue status. So it can match my other two things. So I'm a lot tankier now. I feel like that's a little, uh, a meta joke considering I ate a bigger woman and all of a sudden I get bigger health. But let's see, that's there. So now I can go out and open up these grates down here, which I am curious what they have in store for myself. I have no idea why I just said the way I just said it. But yeah, uh, in the future, uh, anyone who's watching this actually, I'm going to plan on keeping this uh, series to about 20, 25, 15 minute episodes if I can help it. More so just because of the fact that I, last episode, part three, 
I recorded for about 40 minutes, and after I put it through the editor and put my end screens and end cards and all that into it, it's about a two hour long uh, export to get it ready to go to YouTube. Oh, wow. Okay, so now I'm in the here. But yeah, like I said, it just basically was a very long export. And I'm even recording while exporting just because the aforementioned accidental attention grab. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and keep the episodes down to more so about 20 minutes. And I also kind of learned a new combo uh, for things that you can thrash to extend your thrash time. And I think I had it last episode, but I can even thrash the not big The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute fear. All right, let me show you on this barracuda once again. Let's okay, see, so grab it, start thrashing it, right before it ends. Tail smack it into a wall, and you can grab the thrash a little extra set. It's a pretty handy trick for needing to thrash something. It's a pretty good 1v1 trick, I think. Right, open the gate out around here. And I think that, oh, I, you know what? After the recent size increase, I might be able to get this one. Yep, got it. Flopping, flop back into you. Okay, so where was the gate I just opened? Ah, here it is. I don't think, okay, I found a bigger gate. And I need to be an elder to open. So that's unfortunate. Uh, darn. Uh, let us see though. There's a new cash back this way. Did I miss one? Or did I just not take the right door? Because I think there was options. Come on, man eater. Give me what I need. Back to here. This is where I came in. Oh, it's on the other side of there. Okay. And a, a, a good little tip for those uh, that like to use the whip it won't kill things, but it can drop them almost to empty health. To the point where you can smack it against the wall and it would be empty health, but you just have to bite it one more time to get to it. Okay, now, where else? Now, where does it say it is? Oh, right, it's right on the other side of that, so I don't need to worry about that. Let's see, this is an elder gate, but that is an adult gate. So, I'm gonna make my way over here. Hopefully. But there was an in that area, there was another one of those missions where it was just kill groupers, but at the same time there were four gators around. And although they are easier to deal with, four at once is a bit of a cluster. Uh, it's a cluster F. Don't know why I sense myself, it's a cluster fluck. Is that an elder gate? No, that's just not even a passable gate. Mom. Okay, here's our grotto for this area. And also thinking of it, is there any... Okay, there's adult gates back in the bayou as well. So I'm going to go visit that real quick as well. Hopefully I can do it in a decent time frame. We're going to run around all of that up to 10 minutes already. Oh, hello, Mr. Gator. Do you want to tangle? Moving on. I also discovered that there's some gates that you need to flip switches 
Which I imagine you need to like grab something and jump out of the water and swing it like that. A catfish is easily distinguished from other time. species oh, by hello. their smooth, scaleless bodies and signature. I gotta whiskers. do some water part or off water part of water here. Come on, flop. Why are you stopping? Is there invisible walls here or something? Okay, it seems like there is. It's a bit misleading. Oh my god. Well, okay, that makes sense. There might be just a gate around this other end. And then there was that license plate up there. I tried going for that. Here, let me try another time now that I'm adult as opposed to teen. Yeah, not much happened there. At least it seems. Give me your piercing. I'm a casual people eater. I a grab one every now and then. Drive the bull shark's behavior. Eh, I could eat. Sounds like me. Yeah, I can maybe eat something. Then I always eat something. Yeah, keep eating groupers and the other little yellow currency that I find. Just because after I got the shark jaw or the electric jaws, it, it's been draining me of that. Come on. Don't be slow. You were unnormally fast for a long time. Don't start being slow. Back to the Mafia Lake. And we can't even eat these, but we can target them. I get that I think we're hitting them as well. It is a funny little glitch. I won I punched a gator off into land and it didn't seem to register how to fuck it out of water. Oh, hello. The Barracuda has a mouth full of teeth, each different, each carefully designed to decimate its prey. The alienness of the shark is its lack of a skeleton. right here to where I was trying to go. Big brains, me. Big, big, big brains. got a new quest for killing the Apex Barracuda somewhere. Or at least I saw it pop. Okay, back this way. Oh, you look a bit nasty. Alright, that's where I'm going next after I clear this area out. Come back Mutagen here. 23 is certainly heating up the evolutionary arms race. Oh, so you followed me and I realized you stopped? Yeah, you're How did 
you whack me? Ah, oh, God, sewer games. Man, you really do suck. It's not even attacking me. And when you do, you don't let me crash yet. You know what? Just bite fast. Come on. Bring it on. Stumpy. It's not a bite, that's a tail. Dick. And Alright, uh, there's nothing else I can do down here or there. Nope. Quest is done. There's no more groupers. It's not showing sure anything else in these areas. Let's see. What's down here? Oh, an albino. Oh, albino barracuda. Do you have a day to talk about tail whips? No. Damn it. Gotcha. Now can you talk about tail whips? Thank you for your special genes. Okay, there's a license plate that I can't get to. That other place plate I can't get to. An elder gate. And I think... Okay, I wonder if this is the post telling me about a landmark. That's right. Closed area. I need to, need to go by the sewers. And let's see. This way. Question mark. I think yellows mean out to the actual world. Come on. Man, why does it seem like all of a sudden I'm going so slow? Or maybe you actually just go playing faster when you're stalking at the water's edge. Yeah, it might be just a visual thing. You look like you're going faster. Oh, hello. Thank you. Oh, I think this is the last landmark. I think I shall get a mutagen after the or a mutation. That I shall have to check out. Shadow yeah, shadow. The That's threats right. to our ocean seem overwhelming. But by working the together, shadow now, we can ensure that future generations always have a place against to dump their, their old tires. Oh. So landmarks are the shadow set and the bioelectric are Bounty Hunter set, which reminds me. Oh, wait, no. Uh, I got the protein one after that last Bounty Hunter. That explains it. Um, okay. What next? What next? Hmm. Discord messages are going off again. Uh, here. A little dilly to the grotto to see what the Shadow Teeth is about because I am curious as all hell. And then we're going to take on that Apex Predator, and then we are going to go find the grotto in that oh, other zone I can have. Can the shark discover the miracle of self-love? Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see. That's hardy mineral direction, adrenaline gland, bioelectric, brutal, bio, bio, mutant, I just bio. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, oh, did I only get another set of jaws? Okay. Um, 6% bite damage passive on bite 30 health. So it's a health drain. Yes, please. Oh, that looks gnarly. You know what? Let me make it purple. Dang, there we go. Okay. So we got some gnarly... Oh, that's like a, the goblin shark jaws. That looks nasty. Ooh, spooky. Alrighty, so shadow teeth it is. Time to kill a barracuda. Not that one, though. Uh, this one over here. Come on, dinky boys. Come on, dinky boys. Who wants to get bit by some shadow teeth? I eat. Something's wrong with me. I have no idea why I just started that random accent for no damn reason. Oof. No. Come on. Thank you. Mr. Apex, where are you? My, no, you know what? I, good idea would be to mark it. 
Oh, the apex predator is out here with the glowing blue thing. Okay. Oh, the needle tooth nightmare. The barracuda. Hello. Most recognize it oh, as the title of a classic rock radio teeth. staple. Did you know that it's also a fish? Well, it's true. Bone evolution set adds damage resistance and is most effective for boat combat. Okay. So shadow teeth is for wildlife and humans. Bone is for uh, defense and going after people on boats. And what was the other one? Gurr. I'm not sure, uh, but okay. Let me just do a fast travel real quick to save some time. Let me blitz over to a new grotto and then I shall be ending it there because I don't want to overclock my damn computer by running recording software and exporting video software. Come on, Sharky, go a little faster. There we go. Man, I don't know what it is, but it just definitely looks like I'm starting going sh slower until I get on the surface. What do I have marked here? What is this? Like father, unlike son, cutscene. Oh, get come see the latest on Pete and larger little play. Okay, some cutscene stuff. Dink. All right, what do you got for me? Back on board the Cajun Queen. That's Kyle, my son. He's just here for the summer. Studies marine biology. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I got one hand can still tie a hook. You got two can barely tie his shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Must get that from his mama. Yeah. He used to help my daddy around. Spent a lot of time together. But we wasn't close. He was a shark on him. That's all he was. If anybody were gonna catch the mega. It'd be him. <laughs> Thought it was a government experiment, got himself loose. Boy, he wanted that job. Wanted it bad. Hmm. Found it once. Didn't catch it, no. What... what happened to your father? Huh? What happened? Look, uh... I ain't got time to answer questions all day. Got work to do. Hmm. So they keep setting up the mega, the giant shark, uh, supposedly. Like when uh, they caught my air quotes mother shark. Uh, it. Man, I'm blanking a lot. They were talking about that's not the mega, and then he scarred my fin. Just so like Kyle LeBlanc. Me. Our young bull is the inheritor of a long family tradition, struggling to find her place in the world. Sea change. Oh, Golden Shore Drive. Okay, the quest is taking me exactly where I was planning on going. That is perfect irony. Okay. Oh. Alright, which direction do I actually need to go? I need to turn around. This way. Just saying hello. Just waving goodbye. There should be a license plate. It's there somewhere. 
Maybe I'm just not looking in the right place, though. The fish takes quick, evasive action. Oh, damn it. I would just carry on with my on my own accord, like not even. I don't know why it's so funny to me just walking up to one of those boats, stealing a human off of it, and then just going away. The hungry predator finds the catfish crisp, juicy, and tender. Dang it! I keep missing where I need to go. Uh, I think I really. I know it's obviously sharks don't have many maps, but I could really use one. Just like a mini map to see where the edge of the water is. And with the jump. Go one, two, three. Oh, those are nice boats. The beach sure does look inviting, but they according to the me. most recent study, the sand here yeah. contains dangerously high concentrations of fecal bacteria. Yeah, because it's the sand. Oh, this place looks nice. I can't wait to start eating people here. Let's see, some more catfish, saw some king mackerels. Oh, that's a lot of humans. Just grab one. <laughs> I'm twisted. Yeah, so aside from barracudas and I think a gator I once saw, the king of macros, I'm not seeing anything new here at the moment, but maybe that's just it playing nice on me just because I don't have a respawn. Oh, nutrients. Thank you. This shark is a sort of super scout, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. Oh, it's a one. There's a lot of stuff down here. All right, cave, new world. Now that's at the grotto. What's my next quest? Uh, consume humans. Oh, okay. I didn't realize there was a checklist for what I need to do here. Okay, complete Golden Shores Revenge, Golden Shores Hunt. Complete population controls, kill the apex, the... Okay, I also need to go back and do Fawtick Bayou's population and Fawtick Bayou apex. Okay, so I think, uh, there is... Yeah, I got some stuff popped up over here that I need to care of, plus those greats. So, I'm going to end it here. God, I ran a lot longer than I wish I would. So, I'm going to end it here. Um, I shall pick up in the bayou... Even though I said I was going to visit here, I'm going to pick up in the bayou next episode. And we'll see what takes us there. My name is Matt Scorpion. I will see you then.